So I think there, it's been a very rich discussion and um, I think I've got quite a few uh, takeaways. The first one is that um, it's an industry that, that is evolving very quickly. Uh, you've got new market players, new market models, and uh, new uh, technology. And I think that the technology has already produced a, a significant impact on the industry in the sense that increasingly even regular cap companies are using apps. And I think that technology will continue to evolve and the impact on the, on the market will, will be increasingly significant. So that's the first point. The second point is that a key question is to know whether the market will grow or will stay static. And there are different schools of thought. My personal view is that the market will grow. In other words, it's not so much a debate about, you know, which should be, what should be your share of the cake, but how to grow the cake. Because if the, grow, if the cake grows, that means that there will be space for more actors. And so I think that's uh, an important consideration. I think a third consideration relates to how to ensure social inclusion. Uh, we want to make sure that as new, new actors enter into the, the market, uh, they will be inclusive. Uh, we want to make sure that uh, you know, categories of people, uh, such as, for example, pe people with handicaps or people that are socially uh, uh, disfavored have access to the service. Uh, and that's one important consideration. So, uh, to the extent that the sector is regulated and that regulation evolves, these sort of considerations have to be taken into account. So that's uh, another, I think, important takeaway. But I think the question also that was discussed is how to make it cost effective. Because it doesn't make sense to throw billions away uh, in order uh, to achieve a goal that can be achieved actually as effectively in a much uh, cheaper fashion. And, and people had some ideas about this. Another takeaway relates to data. Uh, it seems to be critical. Uh, all the actors around the table were uh, focusing on, on data, uh, how to get better data, uh, which kind of data should be shared with regulators, whether the regulators are the best entities to handle the data, what are the limits on data sharing, uh, and so on and so forth. And data is critical because data should help regulation to be more effective. Uh, I think it's going to be critical when it comes to issues such as congestion uh, because it allows uh, regulators to have a better view on uh, you know, uh, the traffic patterns and traffic flows in order to take better you know, zoning and planning decisions, for instance. I think it's essential also to see whether all areas of the city are well served. Uh, which is not necessarily the case right now. Um, and, uh, and so I think data is really uh, critical. And the nice thing about the new business models and the new technology is that they generate uh, a lot of data. So that's another, I think, uh, key takeaway. Um, then I, I think uh, we had a very good discussion about whether uh, the traditional modes of regulation, including caps on the number of vehicles and price control are, are necessary. And I think there's a feeling among the majority of the participants that uh, in the future, these sort of blunt regulatory instruments will, will be phased away, uh, whether it should be done uh, immediately or whether it should be done uh, following a transition period is another question. But, uh, but I think that new tools and new data should allow uh, uh, more targeted uh, regulatory instruments than in the past. Finally, an issue on which uh, there has been a lot of focus relates to transition. Uh, how do you get there, basically? I, I think that all of us would like the market uh, to be bigger, uh, services to be better, uh, to have uh, more space for new actors. Uh, but should you uh, modify the rules very quickly or should you do this over a certain number of years? That's, I think, a very important question uh, on which, of course, there are different opinions. Another issue relates to whether uh, the losers uh, in the market, that means people, for example, that have spent a lot of money uh, over license, should be compensated for their investment or whether it should be considered just as a bad investment for which they should not be made whole. 
So that's, uh, I think, another consideration that, that regulators have to think about. And we've seen that uh, quite a few regulators are already thinking very deeply about these, these issues. And I think the final question uh, relates to the right level uh, uh, you know, of, of regulation. Is, is, are these matters that you want to regulate at a fairly high level, you know, EU-wide, nationwide, region-wide, or is it the sort of things that needs to be regulated locally? I think there's a consensus that the local level is very important because circumstances may vary significantly from cities to cities, region to region, but I would tend to think that it's important that broad principles are agreed on at a, at a higher level of, uh, of uh, you know, the government or, or the administration. So these are the issues that have been discussed. Uh, I think the discussion was uh, very frank, uh, uh, but uh, it was also, uh, it took place in, in a sort of nice and, and relaxed atmosphere. And I'm sure that uh, there will be other events to further discuss these important issues.